Before we jump into today's video, thank you guys so, so much for the amount of support you guys had on the coffee. You guys have been absolutely killing it. We cannot get this stuff in fast enough for you guys. You guys have been loving the espresso. You guys have been loving the cold brew. I just grabbed these because I've been absolutely crushing them just like you guys have. Thank you guys so much for the amount of sales. It truly helps me out. I cannot thank you and thank you guys enough. Link is in the description if you guys want to check out. K-Cups should be available on the website as you are seeing this video. So go ahead to the website right now. Go check it out. If not, they'll be there next week. So K-Cups are ready for you. What's going on YouTube? Only been about two weeks, roughly two weeks, maybe a week and a half. I don't know. It's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, been a loser lately, but Colin's got a new car and I might have a new car coming. Things have been changing. Things have been happening, as you guys can see by the title on thumbnail. Colin's old, uh, Colin's old girl is gone. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, number, number three right now. Stick shifts monster of the world. Colin did have the fastest S550 stick shift world record, now, which was sitting at what was it? What was your time? Like a 1220. 1220. <laughs> Some lucky guy, CarMax, has it right now. Sold to CarMax, but there's a whole other story. Uh, we didn't even get to film any of this or post it. Um, so make a long story short, Colin found another 2018, I told him to stay away from 2018, but it's kind of my fault. I sent it this one on Facebook Marketplace. 9,000 miles. 9,000 miles, 100% bone stock. Colin, just give him a quick rundown of what happened. So we're going to show you guys this in a second. Hold your horses there, Terry. We did something that everyone does. We went on Marketplace. <laughs> marketplace. 2018 GT. Shut up down there, Terry. So, so we're, Luke, yeah, saying. back to the interview. So here we go. Just put that on there so we can call that guy out. Yeah, super clean, super clean. What eight or nine thousand miles? Clean title. Bone stock car. Hold everything up. Clean title. Carfax was, was clean. I think it was one owner or two. I don't know, but you know, you see that many low low miles on a 2018 <laughs> Mustang GT. And he was close too. He said, yeah. "Guy seemed cool." Looked at it. He posted about. 40 pictures of the car on Marketplace, so. Car was clean, guys. It was, it was very, perfect. very clean. Uh, but yeah, I had a few issues with it. <laughs> so, Colin was driving the car home, and he hit a, a small bump. Not like a bump, that like a pothole or something that's gonna really destroy the car. A small bump. Average bump you hit to, on your work, a small bump that you wouldn't even recognize or even feel yeah, in your normal drive. It was like a little bump, it was like a, a dip in the road. Yeah. So. He knocked the, like, the whole steering rack completely went out of whack. You said the steering wheel was shaking and stuff like that. So, it knocked the whole steering loose in the car, and it's very odd. These cars are extremely tough for Mustangs, and um, for something that crazy big to happen. 15, 20 miles an hour, and it literally just went like, it came up. And, and then and the whole started, steering went yeah. whack. After the steering went whack, Colin obviously had to take it to the Ford dealer um, to get it, because it, I think it still had warranty, right? Yeah, and... Well, still had the five-year warranty. Still had the five-year warranty, so it was covered under that. Um, they were able to fix that, but once they started taking the car apart, they noticed a lot of stuff that pretty much showed that the car did not have a clean title. So here we go. I don't know how well this is going to pick it up. All right, let me, hold on, let me switch her around. What is that? So we have Ford taking it apart, looking at it, and then the tie rod right there. Tie rod's bent. You can see that right on the end. Yeah, she's bent. Sitting yeah. like that. We got another picture here. So they went in deeper. They continued to look up the engine. It looked like it was a front and left side collision, the front quarter panel right there. Um, and mind you guys, the car, the paint was immaculate. The body shop said we couldn't even tell that the car's been redone. Um, it was done by a very good person that knows body work. So this is the only way that I could have you know told about it but yeah actually it was a two owner car so this other guy I bought it from he didn't know why but who knows he probably knew the whole time but because it literally it went bad it's like within what two weeks after yeah. you having it one sign was the front two tires were different than the rear two tires which i'm guessing that he probably went he cheap and just threw tires on yeah, there when he hit whatever and then probably messed up a tire popped a tire when he you know collided in the front with whatever yeah but so they were looking at it further and you can see right there, they saw that the alternator was literally cutting into the front. I yeah, guess so it's if like you guys can't see that the best, that is the alternator pulley digging into the lower front sway bar. Yeah. And you can see it literally was 
cutting a divot into it so so you know the car was extremely twisted car was all jacked up um everything had to get fixed properly before colin was able to sell it so now I went, no one else would have that problem and then it's should sold we, should we put forward on blast for the next part of what happened to it oh yeah tell them that too so my week's already going bad i'm working to try to deal with this at the same time to fix everything so this is just icing on the cake guys so first they cut out a little bigger of a divot into the the front sway bar to make room so the alternator wasn't rubbing anymore against it and then i go to pick up the car everything's good and i'm not gonna say who <laughs> but one of the guys there is we'll say this is my car yeah explain I, to him like I, this because this literally blew my mind all right mind you to tell him too they told colin the car was ready to be picked up so he goes there to go check on the car, to go pick it up, and then I'm going to let Colin He's explain. He's all happy explaining. He's like, your car is all good to go. It had some issues, but I think it's all sold now. And we're walking over to my car, and I see him do one of these as I'm walking by and, you know, just turning his body like this. And he's literally blocking something <laughs> on my car. So I, I told the guy pretty much, you know, move over. I'm pretty pissed at that point. Because I can see it out of the corner of my eye. Something and, was not very, very good. Give me the outside of this S550 was perfectly clean, no issues. And they must have ran into something. <laughs> they they sideswiped it coming out of the garage. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was just icing on the cake right there. So they, they tore it up on a pole or something. Yeah, yeah, that car had to go. And they're trying to cover it from me. They're trying to get it out the door without me noticing it. That's that's some uh, pretty crappy shit. If you guys want to know the name of that dealer. Maybe we'll have to drop it down in the comments, but we won't. Yeah. If only you m maybe you want to know. So now I mean, we got that, a new car. That dealer's already got a few bad reviews, so I'm sure. But we'll, we'll add I'm it to the list. I'm not gonna go back there. They were just down the road from me, and my steering went out, so I had to take it there. Yeah, he had no choice. I had to tow it to another Ford, but so baby Yodi's for sale. Baby Yodi's for sale. You want to buy baby Yodi? I was gonna give him 20k for it. But. I got a better offer for 22000 So Baby Yodi is actually for sale. It's official. Um, you guys know, full bolt-on, 1320 junkie ported intake manifold, headers, just did the full exhaust, just did the freaking traction bars for it. But um, I don't really want to go too deep into explaining to what you guys, um, what I'm going to be getting. Um, this kind of deal just kind of like slapped me right on the face and I was telling Colin about it. Colin knows. Do you think it's a good deal? It's worth the trade? It's probably the best deal out of any of the cars you ever got, so... Yeah, so it's like, once you guys see the car, you're gonna know, okay, that was a no-brainer, but like I said, truck's completely paint-matched. Got the brand new 1500 horsepower drive shaft right there. Um, was gonna install that this week for a video, but I maybe Yodi's like for sale. The best thing about this is probably the wheels you're getting. Right They're here. freaking forged wheels. You're getting Voss and wheels on the F-150. Brand new tires, brand new wheels, full paint match, brand new tune. Um, truck's ready to rock. Brand new stickers on the back. Yeah, I'm really pissed that I'm going to have to get rid of these stickers already. I'm, I'm going to leave them on here. That sticker, I love that sticker. And then it's the Ricky Bobby one. If you if you ain't first, you're last. So you guys obviously get those stickers with the truck. Also, third brake light, tail lights, the whole truck's done up. But to the main topic of this video, Smurf. Colin is in a brand new 2022 Grabber Blue. Is it still called Grabber? Grabber Metallic. Grabber Metallic is the new name, so don't mess it up. And there's actually a lot of flake in it. I don't know if the paint's going to show up because um, it's kind of in the shadow, like or the flake's going to show up. But this color in person does not look like the regular Grabber Blue. Um, I'm kind of, I like both of them, but this, it looks really, really good. So we already put Colin's catch can on. We took the cover off. Um, Colin got exhaust already on the car. He got his hood vents back on. I'll pull it up to the sun real quick. Yeah, pull it on the sun. We're about to throw the drag pack back on. Might have to hit a little test and tune this weekend. See what this car can do straight out the box. Brand new 5.0 10-speed. The body lines on this car are extremely nice all the way around. Yeah, she's clean, boys. She's clean. So you can see the automatic trade-off right there from the sunlight to shadow. Probably get it from the front the best. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera. But there is a lot of flake. Dude, I really do like this blue. Yeah, you can see it like right there. yeah. I just don't know how well the camera's gonna pick it up, but it looks good. Wait till you guys see this car in person one day at an event or something when we go to a track rental and you guys get to come. This car is we gotta beat Derek. We gotta gap Derek. So that's why we gotta throw the tires that's, on right that's now. Pretty easy. You know, he's just 
throwing random tunes on his car. He doesn't even know. Yeah, so. I mean, Palm Beach uh, is what it is, you know. We'll get that I right. I want to run his stock. Stock? I think we'll take him stock. Stock? I mean, you got uh, Brandon beat. What year is his? Uh, 2020, same as mine. 2020. That's a right. slow year. So, you know, they lose horsepower about a year. So. <laughs> it might be down a little, like... two-year advantage on him. So. Oh, yeah, all day long. And it's plus, this blue just is a lot faster than any black Mustang around. Especially that one. Yeah, black's pretty basic. I need to knock the cobwebs off Apollo. She looks yeah. dusty when she's black. Yeah, it looks a little ugly. Yeah, I'm a little sad. Give me 100k for Apollo. It's like 50k for Apollo. I did list it for sale for a split second, then I was like, I kind of regretted it. 50k. We're taking everything out, so just 50k and you get the Cobra <laughs> Jet, that's about it. <laughs> that's all you'll get with it, just one free Cobra Jet manifold for 50,000. You just get the wheels with it, that's it. Nah, mm, wheels might be worth it. This is a true Mustang owner right here, boys. He's gonna actually smack it to the pole. Cut it, dude! Colin's got 230 miles on this car, and we're throwing the drag pack already back on it. Back on up, Chuck. And he just changed the exhaust already. It's got MBRP. I don't know if he changed it himself, but the left muffler looks a little too low. That's good, Larry. That's VMS all the way around. Now it's a race car. Should have went VMS, got the fronts too. I mean, these wheels are pretty much they VMS fronts. The they actually have the same pattern as the VMS. Weird. Like, tell me these do not look like front runners for VMS. I guarantee if you take this cap out and just put a VMS cap, no one will know. So if you're short on money, just do that. Yeah, if you're poor, just do that. <laughs> and you'll have 18 to 17s. <laughs> it's, so a, it's, a little, it's a little different. You'll have a thicker tire. No. Hell yeah. Now we gotta pull the Pro-Mod out and go launch it. I just like the remote start. Oh yeah, now you're on the automatic life. Peasant. Yep, you hear that? That means floor it. It's got a cam in it, show him. I'll show him. You said this exhaust was MBRP, right? Race exhaust. Yeah, so the, guys, this is MBRP's full race exhaust. It's a full cat back, ain't it? Yeah. yeah, I like the tips. I think your left side's sagging a bit. I know, I gotta adjust it. You might as well kill it before we do. We can adjust it now. I can hold it. Yeah, go into the car. I'll hold it up. And then we'll just crank it down. Make it tight. The other, the right side looks perfect. It's just that left side's down just a little bit. That's a duo right there. Now let's go test it out and see how these uh, these wheels feel on this bone, very bone, bone stock 10 speed. Oh, oh nothing like a fresh Mustang. Mm. The man that was sitting there. Fresh and clean. Oh, I don't know why I keep going down there. Weather tech oh. mats. Oh, oh, you bougie with the weather tech. She got them dirty. Damn, she clean in here. That's how you know she's new. We're gonna leave this one forever. It's gonna be like one of them new era hats. They leave the sticker on. <laughs> We're starting a trend. Leave these on your Mustang. The new updated dash or whatever this is. Is it? What is this? I don't know. Mine wasn't like that before. No, it got like waves in it. I like it. Classy. Eco boost. Eco boost dash. Dang, she's fresh, fresh. It feels weird being in a blue car. Look how quite bright that mirror cap is. Yeah, it is bright as shit, dude. Yeah. She, uh, she sounds pretty spicy. That sounds really good. I didn't, I mean, my truck's got MBRP on it, too. So we're an MBRP gang. Squad. Well, goodbye, buddy.
just got back to the house. Hopefully you guys like Colin's color just as much as I do. And super happy that he got a new Mustang. It was kind of um, a big shit show of everything that he went through with the 2018 white one that he got. And it's kind of messed up because, you know, you think some people are cool. And the car is going to be super nice and super clean. And But you just never know what you get when you get used, stuff like that. So super glad he got a nice car. Um, can't wait to do some stuff on the channel. We do have a, like, test and tune track event coming up. So got to get Apollo switched over back to uh, E85. And gonna get Colin's car ready. I don't know what else he wants to do to it, but probably at a track rental, maybe um, get Derek and all the boys to come. So we'll have a good track day and see what the cars run now that we actually got some cool weather upon us and it should be a really good time. It's a little bittersweet that baby Yodi is gonna go, but I'm sure it's gonna go to a good home. So if you guys wanna message me about the truck, let me know. Truck is immaculate. I mean, I really did, was on the process of building my dream single cab. But, you know, some deals happen where I got offered another vehicle um, for a very good deal. And, you know, I'm super stoked that I got to enjoy this and experience this. But maybe one of you guys could pick it up from me and enjoy it and experience it too. Because, I mean, I got everything fixed that was, like, I guess semi you could say wrong with it. It just wasn't up to my liking and standards of, like, how I want the truck to perform. And then I got it there, and now the truck's going to go to a different home. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm glad that I had fun with it. The trip of getting it was awesome. The experience I had with it. I'm definitely down to get another single cab in the future. It's going to be a very sad day to see Baby Yodi go. But, you know, I like to experience vehicles. And you guys already know this. I've explained this to you guys a million times. I have my fun with Baby Yodi, and I'm super bipolar. And I think I'm ready for the next vehicle. So, or maybe a Whipple and Apollo. Um, I don't want to slip up, say next vehicle. Anything can happen. But... I think more cars are more my suit. Um, I had fun in the truck game, but now let's move on to make something a whole lot faster so we can actually hurt some feelings. Um, Cause yeah, everyone likes to talk shit about all motor cars. So instead of throwing a Whipple on this, maybe, you never know, maybe Whipple, maybe turn it all the way up, make a thousand, um, just send my Gen 3 block through the moon and my roast my 10 speed to the absolute max and then have to get a transmission built by midnight or we just upgrade and get a whole lot faster car. But That'll be for you guys to watch in the upcoming video. So stay tuned, drop a follow. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.